The current swimming coach for Michigan State for Ken Walsh is Matt Giannotis. Matt, come on up here. I'd really prefer that you didn't stand up when I came up here. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's quite embarrassing for me to kind of ride the coattails here. I most certainly don't belong on the stage here with the incredible athletes uh, and administrators and everything. I'm basically just a stand-in. Um, it's also an honor for me to represent Ken. For those of you who don't know, and I know it was on the website, I mentioned it earlier, Ken is a uh, freelance camera operator. He does golf tournaments, mostly for NBC, and he right now is uh, filming uh, for broadcast television the uh, Ryder Cup. Um, so he couldn't be here. He sends his regrets. He, he sent it as an aloha because he spends most of his time in Hawaii now uh, living in, in uh, Honolulu. Uh, it's also an honor for me personally uh, to be on stage with Coach Mason because he's the person who hired me to be head coach here. So, so that's kind of cool. Um, it's also embarrassing for me because the people who really should be up here would be uh, Dick Fetters and uh, Charles McCaffrey, in particular Charles McCaffrey, who a lot of people don't realize was the preeminent swimming coach here at Michigan State, the Aquatic Center. Um, at, over at the IM West is named for Coach McCaffrey. He was the team manager for USA Swimming at all the Olympic Games uh, from 1948 to 1972. A real Michigan State legend who is not in the Hall of Fame, but I probably deserves to be in at some point. Let, let me just say this too, and I'll be really brief because I know people want to hear from Lorenzo White. I, 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 I don't think people can conceive sometimes in, in athletics how difficult it is to, and Linda would never say it while she was up here, how difficult it is, especially in the 60s, to win gold medals at the Olympic Games. You really only had one chance, and especially in a country like the United States, you had to get through the Olympic trials, which were incredibly cutthroat, and then once you got through the Olympic trials, if that didn't take everything out of you, you were basically facing the entire world. Uh, and nowadays, there's a lot of money in Olympic sports and there's more opportunity and everything, but it's, it is incredibly, uh, incredibly difficult in 1968 to be a female swimmer and toil in anonymity, if you will, and win an Olympic gold medal. Uh, it really is amazing because you play the Super Bowl every year, you play the World Series every year, but you only play the Olympics every four years, and the entire world is going after that gold medal. And Ken Walsh, of course, as, as Terry said, was one of those people. And uh, swimming here at Michigan State in the 60s, and I like to think in the year 2010 is pretty good too, but uh, it was very good back then. So it's a great honor for me, it's a great honor for Ken Walsh, and it's a greater honor for Coach Fetters and Coach McCaffrey. Thank you very much. Thank you.